Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with God of High School episode number 8. Uh, in the previous episode uh, we saw one of the six, uh, the guy with the blue hair. And uh, he messed that guy up pretty bad with his power, uh, that shark power. Uh, that was really like, I was, I'm really concerned like um, if he's okay. Like he was bitten extremely bad and this is not a dog or a cat. Like it's a literally a shark. A shark just chewed you, like a, a like a toy. Like <laughs> like you, you know the, the like how dogs and cats chew on toys, uh, those squishy little toys. That's how he was chewed. And <laughs> I don't know. Like um, if uh, I don't know if he's dead or if he's alive. But if he is alive, I don't know how he's going to like come back. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah and he, he like he also killed almost I think almost killed that uh, mate who was with him as well uh, like injured her very badly and like just uh, that was brutal and um, yeah let's see uh, what this episode has to bring and uh, let's get started with episode number eight of God of High School okay the timer and the subtitles are will be given here Sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's get started. Okay, I'll be counting down. Three, two, one, go. Okay, is this a guy? Oh my god. Ah, oh my god, that was like. Uh, He. Um. Okay. So. Chariot Demon. Okay, like I'm seeing this the first time. Like I never paid attention to the. Uh, writings so they're like demons here like it's it uh, like we've heard uh, that thing chariot or whatever that is called and uh, like it was written like chariot demon so like there, there's some kind of demons as well okay these are like the new guys like like previously in the previous uh, uh, version of the opening, we saw those those uh, uh, what was was that um, those uh, characters which were in the beginning few episodes. Um, so yeah, these are like new visuals. I think it, it, the new visuals were shown in the previous episode also. Yeah, yeah. In the previous episode, that little side story was extremely like good. Like I really liked that. Like seeing a side character having such a good backstory. Close friend. My god, the names! I will never be like uh, accustomed to Korean names. Okay. Okay, so he's like the strategist. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's that's worse. Leg. 
Um, okay. He's like trying to swat flies like this and this. And one kick is all it took. So he's he's like the main uh, strategist. Oh yeah, what happened? Like was he like punished or something? Oh my god. Well, at least suspended, so not eliminated. Um, what happened? He's like distracted. Okay, now he's going to fight. Let's see. Tiger mark, white tiger. Oh my god, here we go. Okay, what the hell was that? Oof. Okay. What what type of fighting is that? What is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. Tekyon, okay. Okay, so this is like a fighting style. Okay. Oh no, he, he's using that power. So that's why he was so confident, okay. Damn. Okay. Um, you're going to bite your tongue, put your tongue inside, please. Uh. <laughs> okay, so like, his grandfather trained them or something? Okay. Okay, so like you have to train. Okay, oh, so like, yeah, like there are like geniuses and like people who do hard work. Um. Hmm. Well, and technically it's like a part of your power, but still. Okay.
Okay, so that's why it's concerned. Oh no. Well, yeah, like we saw before, like he was like so extremely powerful and he was like smiling and everything. Okay, he's here. Um, fan. Um, like he's like his fighting style is like dance moves. Like, oof, damn. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy looks like a protagonist from like uh from these type of animes. Like he really lo he really looks that part. Respect, so like he doesn't know him? Fourteen years ago, was it some kind of marriage? Oh, fun oh, sorry. Oh my God. Ah, uh, well, I feel bad. Okay, so like Okay, so he knew him, okay. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Jin Mori. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this old guy like uh, uh like Jin Mori's grandfather reminds me a lot like of Jiraiya like Okay, so she. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, here he is again. Okay, so. Oh, this is that guy. Oh, I did not recognize him. So, like, he was fighting with him before, like, almost at the beginning when the six were introduced. 
isn't it yeah yeah Okay, um Okay. Um uh. Uh, okay. Well, that was fast. They were alive. Wait. Wait, so why did they not s save him? Like what? Oh no, his debt is increasing. Nine <laughs> Oh my god, this guy. Wait, who? <laughs> <laughs> My God. Okay, that's a good offer. millimeters okay traitor it's often the king that will bring God down at cost okay so this is like a pretty big scale things are happening like God and everything some kind of message hmm okay so yeah that's the reason like Oh, like, uh, is this uh, is his friends like doing some kind of surprise party for him? 
Like today's his birthday or something? Picture, okay. I think like they're doing some kind of party or something. Yep. <laughs> like who gave him that notice? <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Um, you should probably stop now. <laughs> no, it's listening. Okay, deserts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, that comes first. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Oh lord. Oh no, this is going to like probably like <laughs> This is probably like interfere with his like a tournament and anything something like that. God damn like like his uh, grandfather was pretty powerful but still like he was he is like kidnapped so like uh, yeah there, there's like definitely strength in numbers so like the enemy organization uh, definitely has numbers with them so like a single can a guy can do so much so even if he was like lost stronger than them like uh, number is a big factor Okay, that was uh, the end, I think. Yeah. 
Okay, that was the end of God of High School episode number eight. Okay, let's talk about this episode. Um, first of all, uh, yeah, we like we barely got to see that uh, like thing, like uh, like that guy who was like chewed with the shark, and uh, like he's in hospital and uh, like he's being operated on, and I hope that he like turns out okay because like uh, like. Uh, like the wounds are pretty deep and severe so yeah and like he was uh, the other the, the old guy was uh, asking uh, Park Mujin like um, uh, why don't you like why didn't you like disqualify him well like let's like he has some other intentions as well as far as you could get um, so yeah like he said that he was like fine trying to find the key or something like we don't know the real any kind of information about what the key is or whatever it is used for um, but it is something like important so and then we meet uh, this guy uh, what's his name like I can't find his name anyway uh, that guy uh, what's his name park something anyways uh, that uh, guy with uh, who is a cousin of that girl um, he like uh so uh like he was that guy like which we saw i think from when uh the six were introduced uh that blue haired guy was like uh he was like uh, extremely memorable because of her, his hair color obviously and like distinct type of face so like i could recognize him easily but uh this guy he is a black haired guy uh like I was unable to recognize him like I think he was from that like they both of them were like kind of fighting with each other uh, when the uh, big six were like introduced so I think it was that guy and uh, like he kind of went under my radar and I was unable to recognize him but I think that is this guy and uh, like he made uh, uh, Jin Mori's grandfather at a young age and uh, like his fighting style, uh, what was it called? Um, wait a second. Taekyon. Uh, Taekyon, uh, something like that, yeah. Um, Taekyon. So uh, his fighting style is a lot like a dancing style. Like he was uh, flailing around his arms and like. Um, his movements and everything like it, it was like a lot like a lot of like the, the, those dance moves we see in uh, <coughs> in videos and everything music videos and uh, like it, it's an odd type of but like it's a really unique type of like fighting uh, style I don't know if it really exists this Taekyon uh, I hope it I think it exists because like uh, like uh, Taekwondo exists and uh, obviously and so I think Taekwondo should also exist I don't know I'll check it out later on if something like that really exists or not and uh, yeah like uh, that's quite a unique type of fighting style and uh, and that was uh, the thing with that guy and like uh, we can only like I can only understand that Chakrok is like a, so, some sort of a power and I am guessing that that kind of like the thing that uh, comes out from behind uh, uh, like uh, that uh, guy has like a, a joker type of character holding a scythe like those type of things uh, the those stand type of things that we usually see in Jojo um, like that is I think Chakriok as they are like mentioning it I think that is called Chak Chakriok uh, Chariok uh, Ch uh, Chariok whatever that is i can pronounce this very well so i think that is what it is called but we don't know uh, but like i don't know i am not sure about that but i think most probably that it that is what chakyok is actually uh, chariok uh, is actually and uh, and then uh, jinmori meets that guy um, and uh, they had kind of, kind of like had a, like a little bit of uh, trial trial type of fight like they were like uh, testing each other's power level and we get to see uh, the, his backstory like uh, his like uh, he was like very weak and but uh, weak but when he met um, Jin Mori's grandfather and his grandfather uh, passed that uh, book to him uh, with uh, 
all of the secrets uh, not secrets but uh, the way uh, they were like uh, that the tech uh, I'm forgetting the name of it again anyways that martial arts was performed so like it gave him some kind like extra some kind of what do you call it um, it helped him it helped him a lot to learn everything and uh, <laughs> we see jin mori here as a child <laughs> and as always like he is like <laughs> like his uh, personality as a child is just like as a, his personality is now like he was like sleeping <laughs> with some um, eye patches uh, which is used uh, for uh, helping to sleep so and here's one thing like um, Jin Mori's grandfather like uh, he reminds me of Jiraiya a lot like I don't know why but uh, the way he laughs and uh, uh, the way he talks and everything like uh, like that uh, kind of kind soothing voice uh, that that really reminds me of Jiraiya like he used to talk to Naruto like that and like uh, it kind of reminded remind me of that time okay so uh, that was um, uh, the backstory and after that uh, that blue haired guy came again and tried to like uh, what do you call it uh, tried to like pierce uh, Jin Mori uh, using um, his power but thankfully the other guy uh, saved him and uh, then we see like Park Mujin okay here is the thing like we, we're seeing here the uh, Park Mujin uh, like uh, the guy tried to like confront Park Mujin about uh, whatever that happened and uh, that the uh, announcer was killed and uh, here's the thing like they're saying like the uh, the wife and the child were fake made like they were like marionettes power puppets made by that girl that uh, another that blue haired girl so so like what actually happened like so the announcer uh, we saw the announcer like uh, talking with his wife and kid uh, and they were like hanging around in the park and he uh, asked uh, them to like go away and uh, then took the fight so like what happened at that time like was it like this L like let me say what was happening like uh, like uh, the announcer asked his uh, wife and kid to go away from that place like run away and like we knew like uh, like we uh, we knew that his wife and child was also killed so like uh, as we like knew the thing that uh, <sighs> this is like this is like confusing okay so uh, the impression i had was that even after the, uh, he asked his wife and child to r child to run away uh, after killing him uh, uh, the guy uh, went towards his wife and kid and killed them also so like i think this is what happened like he asked his wife and kid to run away they kind of like uh, went away from that place and at that time uh, is it at that time that they were replaced by that fake thing and uh, like they were like uh, taken uh, custody and uh, safely like uh, uh, transferred somewhere else and the fake thing was like kept in that park so that it can distract the guy and that guy can like uh, do whatever to it that puppet and the real person are okay so if that is what happened why the hell did they not help an the announcer like why like was it too late like was he already killed and after that they came to the situation and did things like that like i'm a bit confused here like uh most likely that is what happened like uh, I think like he was killed already killed and like when the wife and the kid was going to be targeted as well um, the girl came in and uh, like uh, uh, substituted them with the fake ones and took them to a safe place I think that's what happened because uh, otherwise it doesn't make sense like uh, if they were there to like substitute uh, the wife and kid why the hell did they not save the guy so yeah like uh, most probably something like that happened and uh, yeah after that we see like uh, them like uh, preparing for Nox and everything and like uh, Jin Mori also preparing to become stronger uh, Handway uh, asking that um, green haired uh, guy uh, to uh, tr like help him 
and he would make him food. <laughs> uh, he's broke at that time, so. So and after that, uh, the birthday scene, like, um, like uh, with that flashback, I kind of got that yeah, this is probably his birthday, and like his uh, friends are going to come and surprise him. And I like I don't know who gave them the reminder of the Jin Moi's birthday, like uh, that. Uh, watch kind of thing uh, gave them a reminder i don't know who that was or was it like already programmed and if it was already programmed why the hell was it programmed to do so i don't know anyways like uh, was it uh, like uh, programmed because they were like teammates so like uh, uh, if a teammate has a birthday it's going to remind you i don't know if it's something like that or not or someone else like manually uh, reminded them i don't know but uh, anyhow they got to know that it's it's, it's their birthday and yeah he had uh, went uh, he had a quite a good experience like uh, having birthday with friends and everything uh, eating and having fun so and like that everything was all happy and everything but then as always like uh, at the end we see like uh, Jin Mori's grandfather was kidnapped uh, captured and uh, uh, like uh, a photo photograph was sent to Jin Modi probably to like uh, lure him in I don't know so yeah let's see what happens in the next episode uh, whatever is going to happen so yeah that was the episode so um, this was like an, what do you call it like nothing much happened here but still like uh, we got to know the, the new character like he was pretty cool like i felt as if he was like a protagonist of an own anime <laughs> he, he, his uh, mannerisms and everything like resembled that like a uh, shonen uh, not a shonen protagon protagonist but a light novel pro uh, like uh, isekai protagonist <laughs> he seemed like an isekai protagonist uh, main character of an isekai like his uh, face and everything i don't know why <laughs> he reminded me reminded me of uh, <laughs> and it's a guy protagonist anyways so yeah thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed my reaction press the like button uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't and be sure to like comment down below if you uh, want to uh, say anything about this episode or anything you want to share and uh, i'll be back with a new uh, god of high school episode next week until then goodbye and have a nice day